she said that she was going on her way to fight me. But if someone's threatening me and the police department keeps covering for it. What's your name? And then threaten me for calling 911. If someone's threatening to fight me, what do I do? What is your name? It's Kiana Clark. Sorry? Kiana Clark. Spelling? K-E-Y-A-N-A. So what would you have me do when I get threatened? Just take it? Take the assaults? Take people pulling guns on me? Don't call 911 when I'm getting violated? You've called 21 different times? Because there's a, there's incidences all the time. If there's new, they told me that if I have, that don't call the police department, call 911 for dispatch. That's the same thing. What's your date of birth? Right. That's what they said. But if I have cases, I have a harassment case, a stalking case, what are you covering for it? your date of birth? 42575. Are you tampering with evidence? Are you trying to intimidate me and can you help my abuser? Ma'am, you realize you called me to you, right? Right. And you like, you're, you realize that you're bullying me for reporting crimes. You do realize that, right? No. You do realize that I called you because someone said that they're on their way that threatened me okay. and then you're bullying me Hold over on. it. Easy now. So yeah, I, I'm telling you easy because you're the one that... Hold on. So, so was it a guy or a girl? It was a girl and she said that she's with Jason and they don't, um, they don't, he don't want me and how bad I'm built and how my body uh, demeaning me and my body type. And so exactly what did she say? She what said that she's going to, she's on her way to the shelter and she's going to drag me all over it. Yeah, but I'm more concerned about why I call the police and you're threatening me for calling uh, the police out for to report crime. No, I said you've called 21 different times since March 25th. I don't think it's been 20 because I called. No, try I counted them just now. Okay, well, let me t explain something to you. The police may have came out six times. No, one 21 day, times. They did, the police came out here 21 times. 21 times for you since March 25th. I don't have those many um, times uh, they are called or police came out 21 times. We had to come for emergency calls to come deal with you 21 different times. 21. Since March 25th because you keep calling us. I don't, I, I don't haven't been seen officer 21 you times. Yes, you have. Do you remember seeing me a couple days ago or a week ago? Um, no. What did I report to you? When you wouldn't take the report for the phone? Mm -hmm. What did I report to you? What did I report to you? Nothing. You kept saying the same thing you're kind of saying now. Are you covering for crime, sir? Yeah, civil rights violated. Some people's like okay. Are you gang, tampering with getting, evidence? Getting gang stopped. Is yeah. So if I'm get, I have civil rights violations, why is that not important to you? Or do you enforce crimes or the law? Okay, so she was on her way. So to are you tampering with evidence, hindering the case? Explain to me what evidence is being tampered with. Okay, if what you just said you that I have gang stalked. No, no, no. You told me that. Okay, I'm getting gang stalked. What's That's that mean? okay. Then you said that, uh, um, what, what stop. then there's conspiracy to violate civil Hold rights on. crimes. What is gang stop? Okay, when they're when you're a prominent abuser, uh -huh. some people can have a gang of people stop them and include corrupt police. Okay, so who's so, been stopping you? Because you've been calling us to you, so you can't right, right but I mean, I don't want, you I don't want people, I don't That's want people thing. tampering with evidence and lying and cover up, so what like I've been experiencing, and trying to intimidate me and what cover for my abuser. Do you have? That's been tampered with. Okay, so I have first, a assault case. No, no, no. I mean, evidence is like a car, a gun. I just showed you all the calls on my phone, right? These, you showed me some calls. Tell me a piece of right. evidence. Okay, wait, that hold on. I have a assault. I have a, a someone uh, pulled a gun on me, and I so had. How was that tampered with? Okay, are you trying to be condescending and bully me for my abuser when he's mad? You kept telling me tampered with evidence. Right. right? So let me so tell you the evidence. Let me don't okay. tamper with evidence now. Okay. You're tampering with evidence now. There's no evidence. Okay, now. stalking. I have a stalking case. Do you? How do you know? I have a stalking case. I have a harassment case, and I have a civil case. So, so he gets to hire, have his goons come out. They need to be in prison. So he's gonna do a background check on me and see what else they have up. If he's concocted another scheme, you know. So this is how they abuse tax dollars. The lady calls, this is how they treat someone. I called and told them that I was, the lady just said that she was on her way and she was gonna drag me all over the shelter. And this is what they abuse, how they abuse tax dollars for the bully when he's mad. He gets to break into my phone. My phone's getting broken into. He's furious. They get to put whatever crimes they want to in the system. If he feels like detaining me, like he's been doing, they handcuff me, haul me off. And this, look at his bullies, have, look at who his bullies are. Look at the, who the new gangsters are. Is that scary? Is this scary? These are the new age gangsters with sirens and badges.
So when he's mad, he send out his bullies. That happen to have badges and abuse tax dollars to do it. So if I called and said someone is violating me, any particular reason why he's running my information? If he if I told him someone just called and threatened me, any particular reason why he's upset? Are you guys taking bribes? I can't hear you. If I called him and I just said someone threatened me, why is he mad? And he's a police. He's not mad. Okay, I asked him what he came out, out on and he didn't want me to know if he tampering with evidence is a crime. Hindering the case is a crime. And it's been going on long enough, people need to be held accountable. Inbound. They call me. So what do you normally do if someone threatens someone and they have a stalk in a case, harassment case, and a civil case? What do you want the victim to do? She can't call the police? Well, can you tell him that? Because he doesn't realize that. I don't think people like him need badges. There's a difference between calling police and abusing them I Okay, I get gang stalked. A gang full of people stalk me. I get threatening calls. I get assaults. People pull a gun on me. So someone breaks into my phone. I pay the bill and call con artists. When I call a con artist, if you call AT&T with your phone, you get AT&T? Or do you get con artists? If you call AT&T with your phone and you get a con artist giving your credit card number, can you call the police and report that you're talking to con artists? So now there's someone breaking into the phone pretending like they're AT&T trying to steal your identity. You can't report that to the police now? The police cover for it? I want to know my rights. So if someone's breaking into my call, my phone, interrupting my calls, I can't report it to you when it happens? Okay, well, he don't seem to think that. And if the police come out and don't want to take crimes and enforce, I mean, don't want to take reports of crimes and want to enforce them, is that dangerous to everyone? Because what else will they get paid to do? So this has been going on a long time, a long people. These police have been abusing tax dollars, arresting me, covering for this um, person, this psycho stalker, cause just because he has money. This has been going on a long time. It needs to end. Handcuffed me, violated me in jail, denied, violated my civil rights where I couldn't even go to court, have courts lying, violating my right as a parent a long time detaining me to cover for him so I can be framed for mental illness and not count for profit, for profit. At CPS intervening in that, having me leave CPS. Intervening in me finding out about my child support payments that I still don't know what's going on with them. Intervening when I'm there trying to check at Attorney General. It's still happening. But I mean, stalker, 76% of stalking ends in violence. And he just, he likes to, to violate in a group, a lot of people in order to violate me. And they don't have enough sense to stop. They don't. So someone needs to stop them. I have just reported to them that someone threatened me, said that they were on their way, and he comes here furious. But they, like I said, they have handcuffed me furious at me reporting crimes. I have went to jail for reporting crimes. Or got detained. recommend that happens how do I report I, I'm not do I not have civil rights and can't report crimes that happen to me 
because they happen to me every day. So how do, am I not allowed the right to report them? Okay, well, he's taking my, violating my civil rights and not letting me. Because a lot of crimes happened to me, he thinks I capped out, and you guys haven't been out here 24 at one time since March. I called, he wouldn't let me communicate, that I've called um, like seven times in one day because you guys didn't come. It, it was like five or six times I called at 11 something, and all the way to eight something that you guys didn't call, come. So I had to wait till the next day. So he may be including that when I had to call multiple times because I couldn't get his police out. If I called at 1145 and I had to go to bed at 832 because the police never came out, I may have called like four or five times to check and see what was going on. Why well, one hadn't had arrived. And I just said, forget it. I'll come the next, the next day because it was getting late. And if I call so many times, where's the investigators at? Why isn't he checking on that? Is that I'm trying to flee domestic abuse and a lot of times I got taken to jail and I was thankful that I didn't get killed by the police. Because the corruption is so big, I thought police officers were gonna murder me for profit. So they got nervous and fidgety and I just got scared. And when they handcuffed me, cause I thought they were gonna kill me. But this is the police, this is the police. So I was actually relieved when I got handcuffed that they didn't just go ahead up and kill me. The police department for profit. Are you going to give me a ticket for calling the lady out, cause calling you because someone threatened to fight me? And I showed you the calls? Isn't it a crime to do that? Are you, are you trying to give me a citation for calling you out because someone threatened me? No one threatened you because you called 21. I think it's the 22nd time you called today. No, it's not the 22nd time I called. So are you lying? No. Or you got to be taking bribes, so why would you give me a ticket if I called you because someone just threatened me over the phone? Is there a ticket in your hand? Oh, you said citation. Do you have anything in your hand? Oh, well, I'm just trying to check because, like I said, I've had a, experienced a lot of corruption. Okay, well, I'll... I... But, Ms. Clark, this is the 22nd time you've called. Okay, okay, sir. Since March 25th. Sir, I get like I told her, if their crimes happen to me, are you tampering with evidence? Are you tampering with evidence? No evidence to tamper. Hindering the case is a criminal offense, sir. Hindering a case. If I have a case, I have a stalking case going, I have a harassment case going, and I have a civil case. T tampering with evidence is a criminal offense. So dialing 911 every day. Every day there's something happening to me. My phone gets broken into every day. Like I told her, someone has th just threatened to come and fight me now. Are you saying that I have no rights to call the police? Someone, you just saw all those calls on my phone. Someone has just threatened bodily injury well, to no, me. I saw calls on the phone. Right, you just saw the calls that I showed yeah. you. you. Someone has just, someone has just threatened bodily injury to me. Are you saying that I can't call the and police and report? To now, I'm talking about today. Today. To you. Well, are What's you so covering so? for crimes? Tampering with evidence is a criminal offense. I thought it was a felony. Right. Yeah, so you keep repeating yourself. Right, but you you still committing the crime. Someone has just threatened bodily injury to me, and you said that you can't take a report okay, you and you can't protect is? me. It, it, her, she said her name was Angela at one point, but I'm reporting. I have a, a stalking case, harassment case, is and Angela you saw harassing you and stalking you. She says that she's with Jason. Is that she the said one that your reports are on. 
she's with him. She they, she claims that together. Here's the thing. On your harassing one that you that you keep talking. You're right. About, it's, someone it's has just threatened. Them. Someone has just threatened to come out and fight me. So I call the police. Are you saying that I don't have rights to do that? What I'm saying is I don't think you're credible. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, so if someone you, if someone is calling threatening me over the phone, uh -huh. do I have a right to call the police? Not an emergency number. No. Okay. Call the non-emergency line. Non-emergency. Line. They told me to call the emergency line. So call. Okay. Because there's no emergency. There's okay. No so hold, let me make sure I understand. That. So from now on, yes. if someone threatens bodily injury to me. Call the non-emergency. Do I have a right to report it? If they do it on the phone, it's non-emergency because they're not here. Right? Okay, okay. If they're in front of you. Okay, they told me to call 911. They no. told me. Okay. It's a non-emergency line. Okay. If they're in front of you and you think you have imminent danger, like in the next 30 seconds to a minute, then you call the Okay, line. so from now on, don't call the 911 line don't like they told me. No. They told me to do that. Call the non-emergency line because non you just said a few minutes ago that it's the same thing. But now it's not. Call the non-emergency yeah, line. You dial nine one one, and someone else who's actually getting robbed. You're taking two officers from going to the robbery call to come deal with you. You see what I'm saying? Well, my, my I haven't had civil rights for a long time to counter matter. Okay. When the gun got pulled on me. So you need to dial what's, what? Number? Okay, the non-emergency. Non okay, we got that. Okay, so okay. we got that established. Yep. Now, if a crime is being committed to me twenty-one times, do you cap out at the crimes that people so a perpetrator commits against you? Do you cap out of getting violated? Or can you report each event? You've already reported. No, she just called just a few minutes ago and said she was on her way. Okay, that's a, that's a class C. You don't have any of the information for her. So but I, I have a stalking case, harassment case. Stalking cases are, are, are different. Right, I have a stalking case, uh -huh. harassment case, and I have a, I don't know why this would come interrupt the police. All right. Oh, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm sorry. Are you Miss Pierce? Yes, I am. Oh, you're Miss Pierce. I remember that. Thank you. Yeah, is there a particular reason why you're interrupting me talking to the police? Oh, no, we're done. Oh, well, I don't get a police report to report the, I no. can't report the event? No, there's no police report. I'm, I'm going to add comments to the 22nd time you called us, but there's nothing for the police to investigate. Okay, well, you know, um, can I finish talking to the police that you need them now? Miss Pierce? Okay, there's other calls of, of importance. You're not, I've been out here for however long your video says. Uh, yeah, so it'll, uh, well, they, it'll be enough evidence to see us if it's your tampering with evidence yeah. and hindering the case. Yeah. If you're trying to intimidate me to keep me yeah. from reporting crimes that happened no to me to do. That has assaulted you. I already have a case and I wanted this to be supplemented and added to the case and it's our, your recorded tampering with evidence and hindering the case. You call the non line, right? Yeah, I'll call, but they, I'm just telling you what they told me to do. Okay. So it's recorded if you're tampering with evidence and hindering the case, which is a crime. Um, hindering prosecution is also a crime, even if you have badges. So they don't want to give me a police report, but good thing I can record now because this has happened multiple times and I went to jail. Ms. Pierce from the shelter came out. How much was one woman beat? She said she don't want to be on camera, but why would you intervene in my police report? So you mean to tell me the police are here committing crimes and Ms. Sh Sh uh, Pierce is coming out, the one that said she was going to call all the police on me for trying to get help with DV? How, how much must one woman go through? So not only is the police violating my civil rights, Ms. Pierce just comes out here covering for it too. So I got the police violating me and the shelter at the same time?